Hello everyone and welcome to this Disney Magic Kingdom's live stream. Hope you are all well. Now, today is the start of chapter two, so we're going to be taking a look at that as well as looking in the kind of short past of chapter one and I'm going to give you my progress and of course we love hearing from you so make sure to get into the chat and the comment section uh, and let us know how well you did in the chapter one as well and whilst you're there you can do main storyline you can do season pass whatever you want to do with Disney Magic Kingdoms or maybe something else as well but um, yeah, and whilst you're there doing that, make sure to give the stream a like if you do enjoy it. And also if you enjoy this type of content, make sure to subscribe. And like I say, we've got quite a bit to talk about. So here we go then. Well, we'll start off with the Tower Challenge because like I say, it did um, start Chapter 2 off today. <clears throat> and chapter one. Oh look, here's my team going out. And just a reminder, it is themed on Lilo and Stitch. As you can see, the feature character here is Jumba. Um, we want progress. This is what we want. So for chapter two, the legendary chest is Beauty and the Beast because of the um, chapter three being themed to that collection. But chapter one, the crystal has been vanquished, which means I did complete it. Also, I believe we had a Wreck-It Ralph uh, note to like, no, we did not, no, we did not. We had a Lilo and Stitch one because of Lilo and Stitch being the theme for chapter uh, two. Um, so I can't remember if I did say this on uh, a stream or a video, um, but I got the Stitch uh, Ears Hats uh, concession stand. Uh, let me just get it up for you just to make sure that I've got it right. So we want buildings, we want this one, and to make it easier, let's filter the collection. So... And from what I remember when I put it in the Discord, there was quite a lot of people that had got this as well, the Stitch headband stand. That is what I got. And I was very like, oh, have I got Stitch? And no, that's what I got. But I believe I did that last time because, I've, as I just said, that I believe the last time I opened a Lilo and Stitch legendary chest, I got the exact same thing. And I was like, oh, Stitch! But unfortunately not. But hopefully one day um, I will be able to get that character. Um, so yeah, so I completed uh, chapter one. And then I was just literally going ahead and just sending the characters out to try and get some more points. And also um, Maleficent coins, points for the season pass, Maleficent coins for the shop. So I do have 27,140 Maleficent coins. So I could get the Sapphire chest. Um, which, as I said before, I can get the Imperial Stormtrooper. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to head on um, and try and get the 70,000 so then I can get a sapphire chest and a ruby chest because I would much rather get um, Ray rather than the stormtrooper so I'd rather try and hit the 55,000 first before getting a 15,000 straight away but I believe uh, some of you in I think it was Summer Girl sorry, said in the Discord that they've, they've got the Stormtrooper. I don't know um, their situation, if they do need any other characters. I know that I do need quite a few in the gold chest, but there's no way that, well, a couple, should I say, um, but there's no way I'm going to hit the 90,000. And you never know, if I do hit through, I could just go straight to right to the end 
and then uh, get the characters then just to see where I do get. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, so like I say, um, I was just kind of going through the uh, tower challenge um, on my lunch break today and I thought, you know what? Let me just use the feature character rather than wasting my refresh tokens. Um, and I was just doing the feature character. I had quite a few time skip tokens and I haven't really been using them recently. So that's why it's built up. And I just thought, you know what, let me just send it out, get them back, get the character back, send them out again. And I literally did that till I got to a certain amount of points, which we will take a look at when we look at the season pass. So you might know which um, points level that is if, uh, if I've mentioned about the season pass. But I've got 45 minutes left for this one before I can send... Um, send the next team out so what i might do is i'll go through all the other progress all of you guys progress and then what i will do is if there is still time left then i'll do the time skip and then we will take a look at the different characters that are being focused on chapter two um so also with the explorations i had finished everything that i could do and I was actually lucky enough to do more than I was expecting. So in the season pass, I got to uh, a certain tier. Uh, and let's get the season pass up now. Um, no, I don't want to do that. So I am currently on tier 30. And that means I did hit tier 25. So I opened up my legendary chest. I think it was the day after I'd opened the Lilo and Stitch one. And um, yeah, I was actually very surprised with what I got. Um, so, so I have only got Shank uh, to get. I've got Slaughter Race. And I also had another character. And that is Vanellope. So I was very lucky as well. She's a legendary character. So I was very shocked to get her. But I was very happy. And I was like, right, let me put that on the Discord straight away. Um, so yeah, so she was, she's being used in the explorations. You don't need to level her up. I'm sure in previous tower challenges, you've had to have them at a certain level. So for example, when... Like what I did, you've welcomed a character via the legendary chest. It'd be like level 3 that you would need them to be. Um, so luckily enough, I didn't need to do that. And uh, yeah, I could use the straight away. So there was a couple of squares that I was able to do. Now, I don't know why. Oh, so I was able to use her on this. But now it's saying about chapter uh, chapter three, level three. Oh dear! So I'm gonna have to rethink about what I am doing. So what I could do, it might be quite expensive, um, but I haven't really been using my elixirs. Um, so a tip that I did have, you don't have to do this. Um, so in our season pass, um, on the daily tasks, you have to uh, buy one thing from the shop. So I would usually recommend getting a scroll, which is for 600 elixirs. So as you can see here, I've already got seven. I could get more, but I don't really need more. So you could use it to get um well either madam me's stuff because they are in the shop as you can see here it's a thousand elixirs for an ears hat i'm not sure how many it is for the playing cards just in case you do want to crack on with that and uh, you're having a bit of trouble um collecting the tokens i don't recommend it um just because it is main storyline 
it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Um, but we all have our different playing styles. So, um, so yes, yeah, so you don't have to listen to the, uh, to the advice. And now that's just gone straight to the thing. Um, so you can you use it, uh, that task on the relic token. So at the moment, relic token wise, um, we've got Wreck-It Ralph, The Lion King and Robin Hood. I do believe there is some more in here a bit further up. Ah, we've got Wally. Um, you can do time skip tokens, but I don't think that's really worth it. So as you can see here, um, I did refresh tokens. So I just did the max of, so you can do five a day. And I thought, you know what, it's going to help me out with the tower challenge. I don't really use um, my elixirs because there's I bought everything in the shop uh, for the attraction wise. Um, and I'm sure there'll be some of you that still have um, some stuff. So I could get Vanellope stuff. So they are 600 each. Um, and just do it like that so that I can... So I need two of the tokens and one ears hat. You know what? Let's do it. So let's go back to here. So max. So it's just 1,800 things. I'm not sure how many I'm going to need to get to a level three so we will see but we can level her up and we can take a look at her um welcome screen because i can't remember actually what it was oh you know what i didn't see it because it was the legendary chest here we go then first time Oh, that's quite good. So, oh, I never had RPG mechanics before. So she is a level two. I've got one gem for that. Um, and let's take a look at how many now. Three and three. It's okay. It's going to take a big chunk out, but it's going to help me with the tower challenge. And as I, as I just said, I want to do the best that I can um am i gonna need a, a higher level for um for chapter three i shouldn't need to maybe we can take a look okay once again okay that's six minutes so we'll leave that for a little bit and we'll go back to uh the stuff that we were talking about um so yes yeah, so explorations let's just take a quick quick look here <gasps> you need a level five <gasps> okay i might be using all my elixirs <laughs> uh, not elixir yeah elixirs um so yeah so here is the characters that we need for chapter two and i was really hoping i was like oh well there's going to be certain line well one line here that i could uh, do with her Unfortunately, not this one or this one because of Shank. Um, but Chapter 3 was looking a bit more um, because I could do that one. Um, there was another one, I think. Oh, yeah, and this one here. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, that's a level 5. I didn't realise that. Um, oh, no. Right. Okay, well, it's fine. It's fine. Um, like I say, and we can build the elixirs up easily um, with the decorations and that. And I've got loads of magic as well, so it doesn't really matter. Right, well, let's get into some of your comments before I get on to more of my um, my progress. So, hello to everyone here in the chat. And um, we've got another uh, kind of question from Nicholas, um, which is great to see. Do you think Brother Bear will be added to DMK? I really hope so, because it's one uh, that I really do like. 
Um, I do feel like it's a bit underrated, the film. Would I say a main storyline or a mega event? I'm not too sure because I, me personally, I would say um, main storyline, just the two characters, two characters, um, Kenai and Koda, but... You could kind of see more. So a mega event would need five characters, wouldn't it? Um, so let's have a think. So Kenai, Koda, you could have the two brothers. You could have the old lady. I'm really sorry, I can't remember those characters' names. You could have the two mooses. Um, you could have... Uh, the, the other bears aren't really that thing. So, um, so yeah, so I'm not sure. Um, but I would say the two bears, the two brothers and the old lady, they're kind of the main bits of the story. I wouldn't say Koda's mum because she dies um, and they have this thing about characters that die even though we have kind of seen that change uh, throughout the years. Um but yeah, definitely one I would love to see in the game. Um, yes, uh, I was mentioning your progress earlier, Summer Girl, but thank you for putting it in the chat, just in case anyone uh, missed uh, what I said. So Summer Girl completed Chapter 1, which is brilliant, and also got um, the Imperial Stormtrooper. Um, just let me know, Summer Girl, uh, was that the only character that you needed from the chests? Um, because, as I said, I don't know if you missed it, but I'm just going to head straight through. I've got the 15,000 to get it, but I'd rather Ray, which is in the next one. Um, so I'd rather just see how many I can get and then decide on what uh, I want. Uh, Tabitha for saying I got all the Star Wars relics uh, are well done and was able to enchant an attraction for Palpatine's ears hat. Ah, which one was that, Tabitha? Let me know because, um, yeah, I could do that. But then also that you're using thing, uh, Maleficent coins, aren't you, for that. So maybe that might be something at the end. 15. Yeah, we could kind of see it on that one. Um, right, so I think Oliver and Company or Fox and Hound before Brother Bear. Oh, okay, Summer Girl. Um, so, yeah, they are more older films. Um, I would say they're kind of in the same kind of category. I know that those two are more classic, so they might have more nostalgia in that with certain people. Um, but again, I feel like it was in a period of Disney where they weren't doing the best. Um, and then, of course, after Oliver and Company, and well, Fox and Hand and Oliver and Company, came The Little Mermaid, which then started the Disney Renaissance. And then after the Disney Renaissance finished, you then had films like, okay, Lilo and Stitch was a good film, um, and Emperor's New Groove, as Sarah would say. Um, but, yeah, after that, the films were very, like, different in the sense of styles. Not saying that that's a bad thing, but the films are very, um, not unpopular, but they're not your Disney Renaissance films and the ones that are coming out now, in the sense of, like, Frozen, Tangled, Moana... Um, Wreck-It Ralph, those type of films. So, uh, so yeah. Oh, Summer Girl needs Yoda and Emperor, I think. Um, so, yes. Um, oh, it's Gideon Cruiser. Right, well, let me take a look where my Gideon Cruiser is. I'm going to be truthful. I have no clue which one that is. Ah, I was lucky enough to get the right one. Um, so yeah, so only so 15 would not help me um, in that sense. But yeah, that's my next enchantment for that. So that would definitely be uh, useful for me. So we'll just have to see when we get to that point. 
I know that I had a question from someone else in a previous stream about uh, Kingdom Hearts. And I have played it, and some of girls saying here that they play it on the PS4 and Xbox One um, and completed it yesterday. Well done for completing it. Um, right, well, Vanellope is ready to come back. What dialogue has she got now? Sweet mother of monkey milk. That felt awesome. So again, one more gem. I'm not complaining. My um, things might be. Right, okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do it. And sorry, uh, well, maybe not now because they're going to be longer in uh, time value. So you're probably not going to see her level up anymore but I'll just literally do this um off stream but let me just collect her tokens I should have done what I just did before and that was go straight to it rather than doing this hopefully it doesn't um thing out of it so max three thousand <gasps> Right, let's go the the short way because I ain't scrolling through all of that again. This is definitely going to take up all my elixirs. And I'm going to have to build them up again because of um, buying stuff for the uh, season pass. So, like I said, season pass wise, I am on... Uh, tier 30 and I've been doing quite well actually I've been making it uh, a thing of that I have to do the dailies every day the weeklies every week um, and of course I've still got some stuff to do for the dailies but most of it's done I've just got these three to do which I will complete by tomorrow morning weeklies are all done um, so I'm very, very happy about that. And then with the event tab, I've only got one more to do. And that is collect 75,000 tower event points. So what I did earlier, like I say, I was just sending that feature character out all the time. So I thought, you know what, let me go to the 45,000 uh, tower challenge points. Um, and then I'll just stop. So that's what I did. Um, and that used quite a bit of my time skip tokens up. But, um, but at least it's helped me with the season pass. And it's also going to kind, kind of, kind of help me with the Maleficent coin collecting as well. Even though it was only a little bit because it was just the one character and it was the feature character. I don't know if that has a difference if it's the feature character or the team um, in the sense of collecting individually. Um, so I would imagine it's not. It's just depending how what level you have them at. And they were a level 10. So it's not like there was anything for that. Um, I don't need to get Luke's costume. Got it already. Yep, same here. I've got it already. Uh, it helps with the Kingdom Pass duties getting tokens. Oh, okay. I didn't realise that. Uh, and you're on tier 25. Let us know what you got in the Wreck-It Ralph legendary chest. Um, yes, Wreck-It Ralph legendary chest. Um, hello to everyone that's joined since uh, to the stream. Okay, so yeah, so that is everything to do with the Tower Challenge and everything to do with Season Pass. So one other thing that we need to speak about is the main storyline and I am still collecting tokens for Madam Me to welcome her. So let me just get uh, the game up so I'm not clicking on the screen. Here we go. So, welcome Madam Me. 
and I have got all the playing cards. It's just these ears hats. So as you can see, I've got seven out of 25. So I've got 18 left to get. They are a legendary um, thing. And unfortunately, I hadn't been sending out. That's my fault. I was busy uh, when I was leaving work. Um, but let's send them all out. So I haven't got many uh, books left to get. Um, and I've got enough magic. So, um, so yeah, so hopefully it doesn't take too long to collect the ears hats. But as I said before, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. I'm just going to take as long as it does because I'm just very thankful to have some main storyline and have something to do in the kingdom rather than just doing nothing can collect I'm not saying it's a bad thing but collecting tokens for characters to level them up um so it's just quite nice to just have something to concentrate on um so yeah so that's uh what I've been up to in my kingdom I did level up a oh I did level up an attraction but I cannot remember which one it was. Um, for some reason, I'm having a bit of technical issues. It's a bit delayed, so sorry about that. Um, oh, I think I did level up um, the carousel because I could have done that or even the sword and the stone, and that was being used at the time, so I was like, well... The carousel's not out. Let me just put that in and level that up. And I think it was better for me to do that in the long run. So, um, so yeah, so that's what I did. I haven't really been levelling up any characters recently because of the tower challenge and that. But as you can see there, especially with the couple of levelling up of Vanellope just now, um, I'm one away from 360, which is not too bad. Um, and yeah, that's about it, I think, from me. So let's just take a look at some of uh, your guys' comments. And if there is any progress that you want to put out there uh, for everyone to hear about, then make sure to get into the chat or the comment section. So, Squall saying, you have, whoa, that can't be right. 92,000. 798 refresh tokens what have you been doing to get that many um wow that is a lot um got a decoration already got all the characters ah okay right well that's understandable i had trouble on the ears hatch dropping i got all the cards as well and need 10 books got all the magic oh well done summer girl Tabitha saying, I have 18 and 11 of Madame Mead's tokens going slowly. And you have Archimedes to a level 6. Well, well done for that. And yeah, hopefully the drops for you, Tabitha, pick up for Madame Me. Um, but yeah, like I say, I think it's, I'm not saying that you're not. But I just think it's quite nice to just appreciate having, having some main storyline. Um, so yeah, and I still need to max out the um, Rescuers collection as well. I haven't done that. There's a few characters that are level 10, but um, Miss Bianca and uh, Madame Medusa are not level 10. So, um, so yes, okay. Well, I think that is it for me today. Um, you have what? A minute, minute and a half to get any more progress in that you that you want to say. Um, but before, uh, well, whilst you're doing that, uh, I just want to say thank you for everyone for watching. Uh, make sure to like the stream if you haven't done so already. And if you enjoy this type of content, make sure to subscribe. If you want to join our Discord, um, the in the description box below, there is an invite link to that. And also, hopefully you're enjoying the new intro that I have um, created. 
I do, there is sound to it, and I've just realised that, well, that I believe you cannot hear that um, sound. So, um, so yeah, so I need to change that. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do it on this stream. So hopefully, you'll be able to hear the sound um, tomorrow when we do the Dream Snap Wednesday stream for um, for D Disney Dream Night Valley. Um, and oh, thank you, Summer Girl, for saying that you love the intro. Um, yeah, so basically, the song is just basically the um, music that we use on the outro of the videos. Uh, so if you watch one of our videos um, and you'll see when everything pops up, um, it's basically the same song as that. Um, and yeah, just a, a kind of mention that um, if you've got nothing to do, Stick one of our videos on or stick a playlist on and just watch them because that will definitely help us with the viewing figures in the sense of um, how long you've been watching us because that is our next milestone to hit um, and there's quite a few hours uh, that need to be hit. So, uh, so yeah, if you don't want to, don't worry, but it will definitely help us out and as we said before, if it helps us out, it will help you guys out and it will be able to bring more to the channel. So, um, so yeah, so if you're fancying watching some old uh, Disney Kingdomers uh, videos, then please make sure to do that. Um, right, last few things. Summer Girl said, I brought Mickey's spring costume bundle. Oh, okay, well done. Uh, and Tavith said, I finally maxed out Medusa recently. Oh, well done as well for you. Okay, well, that is it, everyone. Thank you for watching, and hopefully we see you tomorrow for our Dream Snap Wednesday stream. I'm not 100% sure the next time we're going to be doing DMK, but I'm sure it, uh, it won't be too long. Okay, well, see you all soon, everyone. Bye.